Welcome to 101 Labs GX Security Essentials Lab 2, Wireshark Beyond the Basics. In this lab, we will build on the previous Wireshark lab to understand some more complex functionality. We will be using Wireshark installed on our Kali Linux VM, and this is the topology that I'll be using throughout this lab. So the first task is to explore some more advanced display filters. Display filters, of course, being a way to filter out unwanted packets as you capture them. We will start a new capture and we will demonstrate some of these more advanced display filters. The first one will display only packets on the network 192.168.1.0/24 that are also ICMP packets. So this AND syntax allows you to string together various criteria. We'll filter out unwanted IP addresses with this exclamation equals syntax, which is essentially means not equal to. So we're going to be saying we want to see packets that have a source IP of 192.168.1.201 and that are not destined to 192.168.1.1. And we'll filter on multiple protocols demonstrating the OR syntax, which is this double pipe. So it's basically saying we want to see packets that are DHCP or NBNS or DNS. So let's take a quick look at those now. In Wireshark, we will begin a capture on Ethernet Zero. And the first demonstration is to see IP, IP packets from the source network of 192.168.1.0.24 and that are ICMP. So you'll see some traffic there. I have a ping going here from Kali, demonstrating that that's what we're seeing. I'll cancel this ping for now. Next criteria is to see only IP packets from the IP source 192.168.1.201 and that are not destined to 192.168.1.1. So just to demonstrate that, we will go back to our ping here and we will actually ping that gateway address and we'll see that that's not being picked up here because the display filter is filtering out that destination of 192.168.1.1. And finally, we will filter on multiple protocols. So again, all we'll see here is DHCP, NVNS, or DNS packets. Move on to the next task. For task two, we are going to demonstrate Wireshark's ability to search packets by a particular string, and also its ability to view a protocol stream. So it can automatically piece together all the packets of an individual uh, connection stream and show you a kind of application layer view of that connection, which is a lot easier to understand and, and view and potentially and um, view any kind of interesting unencrypted or plain text data. In this example, we are gonna to go to a Joomla test login page, which is on HTTP, HTTP, so an unencrypted uh, login page. We're going to log in with a test username and password while capturing packets. And we're going to demonstrate how that username and password is visible by using the follow HTTP stream method. So we'll go to uh, Kali, open Wireshark. We're going to put a capture filter in of port 80, just so that we're limiting the amount of packets we're going to capture. Now we're going to start a capture on Ethernet Zero. We will go to the login page that's linked in the workbook. And we will put in our Kali username and Kali123 password and log in. Or attempt to log in anyway. We'll stop the capture. Now when we attempted that, um, login, it would have made a post request. So we can, the amount of packets we have here is 34. We can manually go through these packets and find that post request. But if you have more than uh, 34 packets, you can use the search functionality. So go to edit, find packet. Um, you can change your packet list, packet details, or packet bytes. We're gonna use packet list as where we wanna search for this particular string. Type post, enter, and it has found the post request packet. So this is the packet that would have been sent as we made that login request. 
we can right click on this post and go to follow HTTP stream, which gives us this kind of application layer view um, of the request. And we can see here, username equals Kali, password equals Kali123, demonstrating how unencrypted uh, plain text data can be viewed in the Wireshark captures. Moving on to task number three, is to explore some network statistics. So Wireshark has some useful um, statistics that it could display, and we will start a new capture um, just to get some more interesting traffic here. That's beyond port 80. Clear our display filter. So there's lots of options here under stat uh, statistics. Um, encourage you to go through these and see what's available. But just for example, there is a uh, resolved addresses. So this will show you um, any ports and hosts that have had their name resolved, which can be useful for an analysis. We have endpoints, which gives you a list of all endpoints involved in the uh, capture. And we have, for example, IPv4 statistics, where we can see some general statistics on the packets as they're going over the network. This concludes the lab. See you in the next one.